Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session, we shall discuss the physics topics. So how much do you know about physics? See, general science is very important as far as whether it is SSC exam of CGL or CHSL or MTS exam or it may be RRB Railway Recruitment Board examinations. General science is very important as far as general studies is concerned. So in this topics, we shall discuss about physics. Okay, so in the first topic, we shall discuss the introduction to physics. So how much do you know about physics? Okay, we'll just touch the basics, which are very important for our examination because we are not doing any research in physics. Okay, so we shall just touch the basics of uh, the physics. Okay, hope you are ready with this. So moving on to introduction to physics. Okay, so first what is physics? So physics is nothing but it is a study of matter and motion, matter and its motion. What do you mean by matter? So matter, how it moves in both space and time is nothing but physics. So physics deals with, it is a science of study of matter, how it moves in space and time. Okay, clear with this? And that studies the relative entities of energy and force. How energy and force are related to matter. Okay, then what is matter actually? Matter is nothing but it is any substance that occupies both mass and space. So matter is nothing but has a mass and occupies a space. So I can tell... Mass is nothing but it is the quantity of matter contained in it. Okay, it is irrespective of acceleration due to gravity. Generally, we say weight is equals to mass into g. That is acceleration due to gravity. Okay, weight is different, mass is different. Mass is same everywhere. Weight differs from one body to another because acceleration due to gravity changes from one place to another. Okay, on moon it is g by six. On earth it is g. So if I am weighing 60 kgs on earth. I will weigh 10 kgs on the moon. Okay, mass is same everywhere. Remember this. Okay, so matter is nothing but which has mass and occupies space. Okay, and this includes both atoms, anything made up of these. So matter is nothing but it includes atoms, atoms combined to form molecules like that. Okay, but it doesn't include energy phenomenon like waves, light or sound. Okay, clear about physics. The definition of physics. Physics is nothing but it is a study of matter and its movement in space and time. Okay. Moving on, what are the matter? What are the types of matters which we have generally? Okay. Generally, we know only solids, liquids or gases. But we have two more. What are those? We shall see now. Okay. So, first is solids. This is the first one. Next is liquids, then gases, then plasma, um, then bose einstein condensates. So these are five types of matter. Five types or five stages of matter. So physics is nothing but. So these five stages how they move in space and time is nothing but it is a study which is related to physics. Okay moving on. What is solid first? So the first matter is solid. So first, what is a solid actually? Solid is nothing but it is a rigid body where the atoms or molecules are tightly packed. There is no gap between each molecules to freely move. This is a solid. So they have very less mobility. They cannot move properly, right? They are very closely packed and they have a shape because they are occupying a container they have shape and volume okay so solids have both shape and volume okay and they can change their shape by any external force or they can be broken or cut Okay, so this is about solid. So first they are closely packed, they have shape and volume and they can change their shape by force. Okay, they have very definite shape and very definite volume. Example is like a cube, cuboid. Okay, all these are solids, right? And some more about solids. Solids can be transformed into liquids. Solids can be transformed into liquids. What is the process involved here? 
it is melting right so ice can be example if you take ice can be converted into water right on melting right so ice can be converted into water so solids can be converted into liquids on melting and solids can be directly converted into gases through the process called sublimation the very important question so, so sublimation is nothing but conversion of solids into gases is nothing but sublimation okay so examples of solids include iron wood plastic ice all these are examples of solids so clear about solids they have definite shape and volume they can be deformed by an external force and they can be converted into liquids by melting and gases by sublimation moving on to liquids the second stage of matter called liquids then what are liquids generally we hear solids and fluids what is this fluids so fluid involves both liquids as well as gases don't think fluid means it's only liquid so fluid means it includes both liquids and gases okay clear about this just a minute so moving on what are liquids so liquids are nothing but the uh, particles are loosely packed okay then this is called it is a liquid then the solids so solids have re tightly packed molecules whereas liquids have somewhat lesser tightly packed molecules okay they can somewhat freely move they have mobility more than solids clear about this so they can freely move than solids okay and liquid take the shape of the container they have no shape but take shape of a container okay example water if i pour water in a beaker so water doesn't have any shape so that water suppose if i pour one liter of water here so that one liter of water will take the shape of the container okay and liquids are easier to compress than a solid and it is quite difficult imagine try to compress water in a container suppose if i want to compress water is it uh, easy no but compared to solid it is very easy so compressibility generally it is gases is more than liquids is more than solids this is about the compressibility of the various stages of matter moving on to some more things about liquids so liquids can be transformed into gas solids first through evaporation the very important process through evaporation so what do you mean by evaporation liquids can be transformed into solids by evaporation suppose example water if i take when i heat this water on heating it will become water vapor right and this forms clouds in the sky right so these are the solids generally right so liquids can be converted into solids by the process of evaporation and liquids can be converted into gases then what is the method here by heating at constant pressure they can be converted into gases and also by reducing the pressure at constant temperature either of the way we can convert a liquid into a gas the example of liquids are waters oils mercury all these are liquids so hope clear about the liquids moving on to the next stage of matter that is gases the third stage of matter gases in the gases the atoms are very loosely packed very loosely packed okay so rigidly packed solids somewhat lesser rigidly packed liquids and very loosely packed is gases okay and it is very uh, the randomness is very high in gases and gas will fill any container but if the container is not sealed the gas will be escaped suppose if i don't seal this container the gas will escape so if i totally seal this container there will be gas in this 
container and gas can be compressed much more than the liquid or solid i've already told you the compressibility of gases is more than liquids than solids okay and gases can be converted into solids through the form of deposition okay what do you mean by deposition deposition is nothing but suppose uh, if oxygen is deposited somewhere on the ground it becomes oxide right iron oxide like that we have seen rust iron oxide so that is example of gas is converted into solid and then uh, liquids gases can be converted into liquids through the form of condensation so what do you mean by condensation gas is converted into liquids here what do you mean by condensation see after the clouds are formed due to condensation that is cooling the uh, gases will be converting into liquids and they will outpour as rain okay so what are the best examples of gases oxygen hydrogen and nitrogen these are some of the examples of gases okay so regarding compressibility what is the case gases are more than liquids are more than solids gases can be easily compressible okay moving on to the fourth stage of matter that is plasma then what is plasma so plasma is nothing but like a glass plasma doesn't have any definite shape or volume so plasma doesn't have any no shape and as they don't have any shape there is no volume and plasmas are electrically conduct conductive produce magnetic fields and currents and they respond strongly to electromagnetic forces then how is plasma created generally we have plasma tvs have you heard of plasma tv yes right we have plasma televisions so what is contained in it so we shall see how a plasma is created the fourth stage of matter so actually when i heat a gas to extremely high temperatures then plasma is formed so this is a definition where we deal with when a gas is heated to extremely high temperature then plasma is formed so either of two ways are involved and generally either if from a huge voltage difference between two points or by exposing it to the extremely high temperatures okay if i create huge voltage difference plasma is formed or if i exposing it to extremely high temperatures the plasma is formed so heating matter to high temperatures causes electrons to leave the atoms and they get excited so as they get excited they will become free but this creates a partially ionized zone they will be forming ions so this zone is called as plasma generally we use in televisions like that okay so this is about the fourth stage of matter moving on the fifth stage of matter and the last one that is bose einstein condensates so why it is called bose einstein so bose means our satyendranath bose from india and einstein the famous scientist in the world einstein okay so both of them have found out this fifth stage of matter that is bose einstein condensate so what is this bose einstein condensate so to form a plasma we have heated right so now we have to do the opposite so for bose einstein condensate we have to cool it to very lower temperatures that is exactly up to absolute zero that is minus 273.15 example we have minus 273.15 degrees centigrade that is absolute zero right so if i cool to this temperature the bose einstein condensate will be formed so we shall see what is it now so first bose einstein condensates so in 1924 albert einstein and satyendra bose has predicted this bose einstein condensates and this is called as fifth stage of matter so bose einstein is nothing but it is colder than a solid so it may occur when atoms are very similar at quantum levels 
and they are cooled to very lower temperature that is absolute zero this is very important absolute zero that is minus 273.15 degrees centigrade when I cool it if I cool a solid it will become a Bose Einstein condensate okay clear about this so clear about all the five stages of matter so moving on so how the conversion take place so solid will become to liquid on melting and liquid will become a gas into by vaporization or evaporation right and gases will become when I heat to extremely higher temperature it will become plasma and when I deionize them then it will become gas and gas will become a liquid on condensation and liquid will become to solid on freezing right suppose ice will become um, sorry a water will become solid on freezing right so a gas also will be converted into solid by deposition right i've already told you oxygen will become oxide example is rust that is iron oxide and solid will become gas through sublimation okay hope you are clear with all these terms moving on the energy so i've already told you the extreme cooling will take will happen in bose einstein condensate so this have lower energy because of lower temperatures okay so moving on the temperature increases plasma has higher temperature and high energy okay first is Bose Einstein condensate which have lower energy then solids then liquids then gases then plasma hope you are clear with this topic introduction to physics so hope you have learned enough things about the introduction to physics topic we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much